Hello Bits Rude, it's Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be looking at this little battery powered compressor for an airbrush and see how good it is and how it can be used on our miniatures. And stay tuned because um, the results might surprise you. So, here it is, I've got it here. And before I start using it, I'll turn it on. And one thing that um, is a positive about this, and there are some, is that it's very quiet. So that's how it sounds normally. And that's how a normal air compressor sounds. So, yeah, the normal air compressor, certainly much louder than that. So it's something you could definitely get away with using in the evening. And, you know, no one's really going to hear that. It doesn't make the floor shake or anything like that. Um, so that's one, that's one little advantage to it. Um, there are obviously some disadvantages to it. It is a bit awkward to hold. See, I sort of, sort of hold it like that. It's not terrible, but sometimes I do find my hand sort of just slipping on the button and turning it off. Um, the air comes out constantly. Um, but obviously no paint will come out unless you uh, pull back on the trigger. There's no paint in it, of course, at the moment. Um, there's, you can't change the power. Um, you know, on a normal compressor, you can change your PSI. This is just... Just, um, I don't know what it's equivalent of, it doesn't seem that powerful. I would probably guess around 15. Um, so that's a bit of a pain, especially when it comes to cleaning it. I sometimes like to just uh, boost up to about 30 PSI when I'm cleaning, just to really flush the water through quickly. Um, the actual airbrush it comes with itself. Now, um, there's different models of these, so... You might have a different airbrush on yours, um, but I, I, this is just, I just don't like the slanty cups, because when you hold it like that, some of the paint will just, um, it's, it's some dried up paint in there, but some paint will just sit on that little shelf there, which is a bit of a pain. Um, that's just something to do with airbrush. I think you can put any old airbrush on the top of these things, um, but yeah, obviously this video is about this compressor. Um, don't get very long battery life, I'm hoping it will last long enough for me to do this video. Get about 30 minutes on a full charge, but it only takes about an hour to charge, or so they say. So now it just charges via USB, so you just plug it into your laptop or PC. I guess you could use um, a phone charger and plug as well. I haven't tried that. But yeah, um, in, as you can see, I've got a Chaos War Mouth here, so yeah, nice big miniature to practice on. So we'll get some paint in this bad boy and let's have a go. Okay. So I've got some Mournfang brown air, you see I've started spraying it there just to test. You can see it's gone on, it's, it's, it's fairly thin. It's a nice thin layer from this just from distance. But you can see, um, hopefully you can see, because obviously it's not a massive change in colour, but I'll go over some of these lighter areas. I've done like, a few short bursts of white to the kind of zen at all. You're not really going to see a lot of the top of this miniature, but you can see how it goes on there. So it's going on quite nice. You can get up nice and close and as well. So it, it doesn't feel too different from using a normal airbrush, but as I say, it's it could be a little bit more powerful, I suppose, but it's, it's okay. For painting it's not too bad. It's more clean than what I found. I would have liked for more power, especially as um obviously after a bit of use as well, the battery starts draining a little bit as well. And I think that does affect its performance as it gets close to running out. Um, but for the base coat and like it's still in the job quite nicely. Um, but yeah, one thing I just to say before, like because of this cup, having it at that angle, which is typically how you'd hold it on the small against the smaller miniatures, can be a bit of a pain. Yeah, yeah. It's building up quite nicely. Now, of course, because of its um, lower power as well, you want to make sure your paint is nice and thin and obviously you don't want it too thin so it's spiders but on a big model like this you can get away with spraying from a nice distance especially when you're only base coating and for more intricate stuff that's where I think this will fall fall short a little bit um, yeah I'm not going to let you guys just sit here and watch me do all this so I'll come back and we'll do a lighter coat okay so got a nice coat of Mornfang brown on there now 
So I put some Deathclaw Brown in, and yeah, I'm gonna try and do something a bit more focused. I think the paint is still a bit thin, but hopefully we'll be okay. I'll try some, some yeah, you can see already I sort of spied on a little bit. Um, it shouldn't be that thin, but you can never get the consistency too great, but yeah, that's a good, nice and, nice and gentle with it. So, you have a constant air coming out of it, you don't get that uh, with a normal airbrush, if you, um, especially with the um, tanked compressors. Um, so if your paint is a bit thin, that can sort of, that can make it spider. And um, if I just sort of spray it there, that's not too bad now, actually, the consistency is a lot better. Um, but yeah, that constant air can be a bit of a pain. Um, I haven't used a compressor without a tank, so I don't know if that's something that happens on them or not. Um, do let me know in the comments, but... Yeah, so just focus on around this area. I'll do a little short first. That's actually going to be quite a nice little highlight for well, this colour, I think. Now, um, that powder thing's going to cover a lot of this top area, so I'm going to actually have some of my highlights a bit lower down. So now sort of spraying from a distance and just sort of focusing on that area. So yeah, you can see it's... It's working okay. I mean, this is a cheap old airbrush on the top. And you can certainly tell that if you've been airbrushing any length of time and tried some different brushes you definitely might not enjoy the airbrush too much at the top um, as I say um, I'm not sure if I'll have a link to this exact model because I can't remember exactly where I got it from but I will link to a few others down below and you can certainly find some that you might like the look of better if you are thinking about getting something like this the trigger does feel a little bit stiff um, but again it's just the fault of the airbrush rather than the compressor and the compressor is what I really want to talk about with this video um, yeah it does feel a little bit funny to hold um, but you do get used to it. Um, sometimes if I want to go around like the other way and put it on my other hand, my thumb immediately ends up turning it off. Um, just, um, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, you have to remember to turn it on. Easy enough though. A few more highlights there. Um, but all in all, if you um, already have an airbrush, you might not want this. If you want to do something a bit quieter in the evening, if you're just planning on base coating and priming, um, especially now the weather's getting a bit rubbish, um, probably what I'm going to use it for mainly. Um, yeah, it's good. I love how quiet it is. That is such a such a bonus. Um, could be a bit more powerful, but what do you expect from something this big, I suppose? Um, but all in all, yeah, I mean, you can see I've been using it as I would use my normal airbrush. Um, it doesn't feel as comfortable to use, but again, I think that's all more, more part of the airbrush than the actual compressor. Um, yeah. Now, I've seen online these... I don't think the reviews are overall that great on a lot of these things. Um, maybe expectations are too high. I don't know. Um, don't expect much from something like this. But if you just want a base coat or maybe even get used to airbrushing... Um, this is pretty cheap. I picked it up for about £60, which is fairly cheap. Um, I mean, this Badger Patriot airbrush alone without the compressor was almost double that, so... You know, um, for something to start with, get sort of get used to maybe airbrushing us. Not too bad. Um, I would like it to be a bit more powerful when it comes to cleaning. Um, you could plug it in while you clean it, and that might help a little bit. Yeah, um, it's not too bad. Um, to be fair, I wasn't. Ex I was really expecting it to be awful. Um, after reading some reviews and stuff like that. Although I did watch some other people's videos, and they did think they did say it was okay. Um, so I expected worse. Um, yeah, it's a handy little tool to have, does the job. If you just want to quickly, um, you know, start do some airbrushing. Um, obviously some people might not have space for a whole airbrush setup, and, like, this is what, this is all you need, really. That, just, um, a little water bottle to clean it out with. And then just, um, sometimes we use, like, an old bucket just to dump the water into and things like that, but, um, there's plenty of cleaning videos for airbrushes online, so you can see how to do all that. If you're someone who puts off airbrushing because you have to get it all set up and things like that, then maybe something like this could be a worthy little in investment, but I'm not disappointed. I think that's the conclusion to take from this. I am not disappointed. It does the job. Um, the girls have been playing with, with it at work as well, and that's for helping them sort of get used to airbrushing. So yeah, um, uh, if, you, if you have something like this or you use something like this, then please do let me know in the comments what you think. Um, there's people who obviously airbrush a lot more than I do who might have a more professional opinion, but hey, for a casual miniature use, 
spraying on your base coats and whatnot. Um, I can't, I don't see no massive issues with it, to be honest, for that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up, any comments, and I'll see you all in the next video.